Welcome to the Central University of Jharkhand. The Central University of Jharkhand was established in 2009. The government of Jharkhand was kind to give us the temporary premises where we are located now. It's a place called Brown Bay, about 20 kilometers outside Ranchi. The unique feature of this university is its green campus. We have tall green trees all over the campus and we have tried to maintain it and have not disturbed the natural flora and fauna of this place. We have been able to offer several programs in the last few years, starting with just four programs in the first year and every year we added. So these subjects include all the sciences, physics, chemistry, maths, life sciences, English, these are core subjects. Then for professional we have mass communication and business administration. We also have engineering technology streams like nanotechnology, water engineering management, energy engineering. Then we have human rights and conflict management and international relations. The programs that we have, almost all of these are five-year integrated programs. The undergraduate and postgraduate are integrated. The first unique character is that it has so many five-year integrated, integrated courses which don't exist anywhere in Eastern, Western, as well as Northern India. For example, the Center for Mass Communication, which has its own five-year integrated course that is unique, that doesn't exist anywhere. This university has started so many promising and enterprising courses, which will be befitting for the profession and for the jobs time to come for our students. I am looking after the ICT implementation of the university in which we are implementing a university management system which is first of its kind possibly in India and we are also planning to have e-learning system throughout the university. Within a short span of three years we have already introduced more than 20 subjects, 20 disciplines. The best thing of this university is the, that the courses which are being offered here are with so much variations. Uh, and the other factor is uh, that we are being offered a five-year integrated course. So the students get a privilege to do a research work uh, in such a natural environment. Under the School of Management Sciences, we have three centers, Center for Business Administration, Center for International Relations and Center for Human Rights and Conflict Management. The subjects that we are teaching in the Center of Business Administration is highly contemporary and the tree teaching methodology is also highly interactive so as to give to the students full exposure not only in the theoretical aspects but into the practical realities of business. We have the Department for Cultural Studies, Centre for Cultural Studies, but to have a School of Cultural Studies, in fact, is unique. This school till now has three centres. One is Centre for Indigenous Culture Studies, the other one is Centre for Tribal and Customary Law, and the third one is the Centre for Language, Culture and Folklore. Culture is linked to the market. We are promoting the knowledge. We are disseminating the knowledge, conducting the research in an innovative way so that the culture will be preserved. At the same time, culture will be invested for the development. Center for Applied Chemistry is offering a five-year integrated course in Applied Chemistry. We are offering a job-oriented course where we can have industrial chemistry, we have water chemistry, we have fuel chemistry and other analytical chemistry, environmental chemistry. The Applied Chemistry faculty members are drawn from various IITs and they are well qualified. We are in forest languages. We have started courses in Tibetan, Chinese, Korean. And in future, we intend to do courses in Sanskrit, Hindi, other modern Indian languages. Three of us sitting here are 
representing Center for Far East Languages. We will be offering a certificate course, a one year diploma course, and five years integrated course in Tibetan language. We have a five year integrated program in Korean language and a six month certificate program as well as a one year diploma program in Korean language. In Chinese also, similar to Tibetan and Korean, we are offering three courses, five year integrated, BA, MA integrated course. The entire system of examination is our internal. We have got 60% semester examination uh, percentage and 40% is sessional test. And we have a system of, you know, after the examination is over, Within say a week or fortnight, we have to publish the result and it is an open system, transparent system. We publish the result after showing the answer script to the students and when, once the students are satisfied with their answer script and the marks that they obtain, then we publish the result. So there is no kind of question of re-evaluation comes. Here at Central University of Jharkhand, we are rigorously following credit transfer systems for students so that they can develop their own interest and pursue that throughout their studies. We have all modern facilities for teaching and research. We also have several tie-ups already with foreign universities. We have signed memorandum of understandings with universities in, in Thailand, with one university in Korea, with two universities in China, with one university in America, the one in Estonia, and then in Bulgaria. Recently, another one has come from Jordan as well. So these will facilitate, you know, exchange of foreign students as well as faculty. And through that, we hope to build up our university also to truly be of uh, uh, international level. This university, although we are very young, three year old, but we have already international collaborations through which our faculties are moving throughout the globe. Student exchange is in the pipeline. This year we are thinking of sending research students to go abroad and work a part of their program. We have organized uh, very successfully international conference this year only in uh, 2012 and people had come from, great scholars had come from Germany, Australia, France. We made extracurricular activities compulsory. Uh, we give an offer, seven different types of sports in which professional coaches, they, they, they are there to guide and train the students. Our children have been doing fairly well in different disciplines. For example, our math students have been continuously winning the Mathematics Olympiad here in Jharkhand. Our MassCom students have produced documents which have been included in international film shows. And recently, they even won the Jury's Award in one of the presentations. The students have done very well even in some of the sports, winning even gold medals at the uh, state level and some of them have been chosen to represent the state for the national levels. Our vice chancellor wants that you should be all-rounder and the personality should be integrated. Our teachers also have come from all over the country and many have come from overseas. At least 60% of them have had a postdoctoral from overseas. Our faculty members and our staff all have come from the profession. I have joined here, but I worked for 20 years, for about two decades, in media professions. The faculty is excellent in our center with having a vast knowledge and industry exposure so that they are able to translate their experiences in different sectors of industry. The result is that many of the business houses are in touch with us for placement of the students. We have professional training, in-house training, on-the-job training for every student. To create a sense of oneness and also perhaps some sense of discipline, we have introduced a dress code in our university. So all students, even though they are undergraduate and postgraduate students, they need to wear a white top.
and that by that itself it has you know inculcated a sense of oneness of unity and emphasizing on the discipline and making it a point that this university is the ranking free campus not even a single case of ranking has been reported so far we have the residential facilities for about 1000 students and at present out of 800 students almost 600 boys and girls are residing separately in different hostels. We have a very good transport facility. We are fetching our students, our employees, our teachers from Rachi city which is at a distance of about 25 kilometers from this. We are trying to give them all sorts of facilities creating a spiritual atmosphere for value-based education. We have guilds of dance, drama and music and we are training students in theatrics, dance and music. We have got separate rooms, separate halls with all the musical equipment. We also have a CUJ Employee Wives Association which looks after various development activities in and around the university. We have started the construction through a prefab with an industrial sport material. The, this material was imported like the seeds from the German and rolled at Ahmedabad and we introduced a puff. We could complete the 60 classroom and the university become a vibrant. This is a new concept. The building is designed in such a way that it should not disturb the flora and the fauna, rather the environment should dominate the building and the building should not dominate the environment. This year in January 2012, we have taken over 319 acres of allotted land in a permanent site near Ranchi. It's a place called Cherry Manatu Sukrutu, 9 kilometers from the city center of Ranchi. Now in the new campus that we have, we hope to make this also a campus that people want to come to. Not, not just for the academic side, but just for the structures design. And so we have almost 10 different architects from across the world. Our project we have conceived for permanent campus Manatu Chedi, approximately 900 crore. The building has already come up up to the print level, hoping that the campus will be vibrant with the phase one by 15th August 2000. 30. We are introducing waterways which will work as a navigation and a transport system. This is in New in India. This is the first industry which has done this experiment under the vision, a visionary by Chancellor Dr. T. T. Karte. The discipline was very good. The hostel facilities, the hostel facilities, the hygiene was very good. And for the Central University, the faculty was very good. give the best of education to the students and uh, the campus is so nice and students are so good like so far like they are doing the good uh, results in the university. Our dream, vision of our Vice Chancellor, our university to make it a world class university will be successful.